that's the reality of it Where you get the truth, the truth where you get the, the real, real Where you get to see all the things that's going on all around you That's the reality of it Where you get the truth, the truth where you get the real, real Where you get to see all the things that's going on all around you That's the reality of it where you get the truth, the truth where you get the, the real, real. Get Where you get to see all the things that's going on all around you And we tell it like it is What was that? Welcome to That's the Reality of It, I'm William. And I'm Kanika. And we have so many different guests on our show, from businesses to doctors to weird stuff that that guy does. Oh, that guy's a mess. That uh, entertainment uh, and uh, talk lounge at five. Yep. I mean, you, this is a show that you cannot miss at any time. So make sure you tune in Sundays at 9. It's time to hit the trails on a bike from the Pikesville Bicycle Shop. They have all makes and models for all ages and sizes, and they'll service your bike and customize it to fit your needs. So for the very best variety of bikes, the best service and price, come to Pikesville Bicycle Shop or call 410-602-BIKE and take advantage of our special deals. I love my hair up. At Liberty Animal Clinic, they know that your pet is a member of the family and you want to make sure they are healthy and receive excellent care. Their top veterinarians and staff will treat them like family and give the best care, medical treatment, and attention you can get anywhere. Liberty Animal Clinic provides these excellent services and they are open six days a week, including giving them a complete physical and office hours are by appointment, so please call. Let your extended family join us! Welcome back to That's the Reality of It. And this segment, we're just going to call it the uh, from Grace, the Grace segment with Pam and Nikita because Grace got you through it. Yes. And uh, for those, again, who missed some of the other segments, I'm sure nobody's missed it by now, but if they have, Pam the mom who went from 12 years old starting in the drug addiction to prostituting, to uh, being locked up numerous amount of times, being raped, being abused, and found spiritual help in her prayer and God and changed her life around because she wanted to. And during that journey, she had a daughter, Nikita, who also went through her trials and tribulations from being abandoned by her mom and feeling re uh, um, resentful, angry, to love and respect. So, we want to get back with, uh, and she has the largest rehabilitation center now in the state uh, called By Grace Counseling Center, correct? She has two huge buildings. She started from a little building to two huge buildings. With her own money, nobody can help. We need some help. <laughs> just, let, just, just, just saying. <laughs> All right, so let's take, uh, let's start again from uh, your journey with, with um, trying to get through the building. Because I, I remember you telling me you prayed them other two businesses out. Right? Yes, I did. Okay, start from there. I actually did. I prayed them out. Mm -hmm. I started with 1002. And I knew that where I was, this was the perfect place to be for two reasons. One, because this is actually six blocks away from where my building is, is actually where I got raped at. Okay. So I know that it was not a coincidence that God placed me right back in the area that I wreaked havoc in to be able to help and empower the community to do positive things. Didn't you say you was afraid to walk from that block you got raped you to the street? Anything. I don't forget anything. So you <laughs> nothing. What, tell, me, tell me about that story. When I first opened this building, um, I got raped about six blocks away from my building. And to come from my house, it would make sense to come past the area that I actually got raped in. But I would go around the opposite way because I didn't have the courage to even go through the area. Even being here, I wouldn't even walk down the street because my stomach would just start to just churn because all I could remember was the last time that I was actually in that section down there was when the guy grabbed me with a butcher knife and pulled me into one of those houses over there. And then one day, I was outside singing and praising God. And I said, 
at this point, I need to go down there because I need to bring closure and heal from this process. And I began praising him, singing his songs, and I started walking down there. Praising, singing, Praising, walking singing. through that area. Yes. God got you through it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Valley of the shadow of death. Yes. He'll get you through it. Yes. How did you help your mother uh, during this journey of healing? Well, I, I didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. I just walked through it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Amen.
Don't be afraid to hula hoop and catch it on camera. If you send it to us right here at the Talk Lounge at tvstar.com, we will air your hula hoop hip action video. <laughs> All right, so I don't know about you, but I love the circus. And you know what? I've always heard about the Universal Soul Circus, but never had a chance to check it out until this summer. Let me tell you, hands down, the most exciting fun field family event that comes to town every single summer. So here's a little bit of, of the footage that I checked out while I was there, but you know, you really got to see this for yourself to really enjoy the experience. <laughs> So that's my time. Don't forget, I need you to join me at Arscape, July the 17th, which is a Friday at 3 o'clock p.m. to check out Kanika. Also introducing to you my new single, Expressway to Love. We'll be showing you the video in the next couple weeks. Then also on Saturday, July the 18th at Arscape, you can check me out performing with the Upstarter. So you've been formally invited. For more information, you can visit uh, artscape.org, but you can also see more about my new video, and my new single at kanikamusic.com. Until next week, keep it talking. So I switched my car insurance to State Farm. I saved 480 bucks. You know what that is? Yeah, don't say it. So you know what it is, right? Yeah, hey, don't. It's a lot of dough. Switch and you could save 480 bucks with State Farm. It's a lot of dough. See if Bryant Jenkins in Reistertown can save you a lot of dough. Get to a better state. State Farm. When quality counts, choose Comfort Temp Heating and Cooling. Right now, take $250 off any new complete heating or AC system with huge BGE rebates available on select systems. All work is guaranteed. Call Comfort Temp Heating and Cooling today for your free estimate. Welcome back to That's the Reality of It. I'm joined by Dr. Willie Richardson and William Allen for our health and wellness segment. I'm excited. I'm singing <laughs> my cholesterol today. <laughs> cholesterol. Good, oh to good to see you again. Good to see you again. William, good to see you again. Absolutely. We were talking about cholesterol, yes. right? Absolutely. I'm wow. scared about talking and, and, about that uh, one. <laughs> some people want to know a little bit about cholesterol. A but. lot of people want to know a lot about cholesterol. I, I know that most people are, 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 are under the impression that cholesterol clogged the arteries up. They get the strokes, they get the heart attacks, and all those things. But what they may not realize, cholesterol is just a warning sign. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the light on your, in an old-fashioned car, the light on the dashboard of your it's car. When something is wrong, the oil is low, the light lights up. But anyway, um, a lot of those problems are really caused by inflammation. But just talking about cholesterol, uh, as a matter of fact, I follow a lot of the philosophy of Dr. Joe Wallach. And he'll tell you there's no such thing as bad cholesterol. 
<laughs> you say it ain't so. No. He said, there, this is what he says. There's no such thing as bad cholesterol. As a matter of fact, cholesterol is really considered an essential nutrient. I can explain a little bit what cholesterol does in the body. Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, cholesterol is a precursor for all of your hormones, testosterone, progesterone, all those hormones that we need, right? Estrogen too? What is Estrogen as well? Estrogen as well. That's the precursor is cholesterol. Mm-hmm. Cholesterol is actually made in the liver, and we get some from our diet, but most of the cholesterol in our body is produced by the liver. Okay, but cholesterol is also important because every cell in your body, its cell wall is made from cholesterol. Hmm. Every cell has a little cell membrane around it, and that membrane is made from cholesterol. As a matter of fact, in your brain, the white matter of the brain, there's gray matter and white matter. The white matter is really the insulation of the nerve fibers in your brain. Well, 70% of the brain by weight is pure cholesterol. Your white matter is cholesterol. Hmm. So what do you think happened when <laughs> your body doesn't have enough, you lose it from the brain so it can go out to all parts of the body, and guess what? Sometimes your brain began to short out. Oh, what does that mean, yeah, short what out? what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> when your brain short out, you know, your thoughts are not clear anymore. Okay. You may not know whether you are uh, coming or going sometime, and you don't even remember what you said. But that what dementia happened, comes from that cause? Uh, that dementia? Well, uh, Alzheimer's and all those what types of things, because mm-hmm. what happened is uh, if your brain short out, the, the cells are... The, the um, uh, neutrons in the, and neurons in your brain, yeah. they're touching each other where they shouldn't be and they actually short out, just like a little electric shot, sh- mm. uh, uh, short. For example, when we look at an electric cord, it has an insulation around the wire, right? right? If those two wires touch and no insulation, well, you're going to get a shock. Right. Well, in the brain, if the, the uh, uh, neurons are touching each other where they should be insulated, well, guess what? They short out. And when they short out, that can create some problems. You saw her laughing over a few minutes. Ago. I did not say anything. <laughs> she, she, she was I'm, trying I'm... to point to me like, my brain is short now. <laughs> See, that's, that's, and that's... Corey might way to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. You know, a, a, as a matter of fact, you know, speak, speaking about cholesterol, I know that there are a lot of drugs on the market to lower cholesterol. Mm-hmm. Uh, statin stuff. Yeah. It's the I heard drugs. it's not good. Yeah. Is, it, is that well, truth, myth? <laughs> you know, there are more people on the statin that need to be on it. Okay. The problem isn't so much the cholesterol, it's the other dietary habits that they have. The fried foods, guys, are literally killing people. The fried stuff, the oils in the bottom, the the margarines and all that type of stuff, guys, is literally doing it, okay? So, uh, but just talking about cholesterol, uh, here's what Dr. Wallach says. He says normal cholesterol is 220 to 270, 220 to 270. As a matter of fact, you know, the Eskimos up where they live, in Antarctic and so forth, right. and, you know, they have the highest cholesterol on the planet. Guess yeah. what? They don't have heart disease. Hmm. You Cholest- can it cholesterol down. was yeah. was uh, the, the killer. Then all of them be dying with heart disease and strokes. Right. They don't get that problem. Now you keep mentioning Dr. Wallach. Who is Dr. Dr. Wallach? Is a naturopathic physician. As a matter of fact, person I admire, and I follow his philosophy for myself, for my family, and so forth. And um, as a matter of fact, we have seminars, and I would definitely invite you to contact me, come out to one of our health seminars, because you really have to begin to educate yourself if you want to take charge of your health. As a matter of fact, if you call me at 410-698-4848, that's 410-698-4848, I will let you know when there's a a wellness seminar in your area that you can attend, and go ahead and educate yourself. You'll learn quite a few things that you didn't know. Okay, but you still mentioned Dr. Wallach. Who is Dr. Wallach? Dr. Wallach is a naturopathic physician. But what really makes him unique, not only is he a physician, he's also a veterinarian. And not only that, he's also a pathologist. As a matter of fact, this guy has done over 20,000 autopsies, 17,500 on animals, and over 3,000 on people for comparison, looking for some pollutant that killed animals and people. Mm -hmm. Never found anything, but what he did find was very significant. What he found was this, that every animal and every person that dies of natural causes dies of a nutritional deficiency-related disease. Mm-hmm. It's published in a book called Diseases of Exotic Animals. That book is actually in the Smithsonian Institute and is considered a national treasure. But not only that, all the zoos around the world use his book as a guide to know how to care for their zoo animals. Wow. Well, tell them how they can reach you again. They can reach me at 410-698-4848. And sometimes Dr. Wallach is even in this area. This guy okay. travels all over the country, gives over 300 free seminars a year, and you'll probably be in your area soon, so give me a call. All right, so we're going to keep this rolling. This is show uh, five or six, one number. We're just going to keep rolling <laughs> with it. So make sure you tune in every week. Yes. 
with Dr. Willie Richardson because he's going to give you a plethora of information that you really need to know. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. When quality counts, choose Comfort Temp Heating and Cooling. Right now, take $250 off any new complete heating or AC system with huge BGE rebates available on select systems. All work is guaranteed. Call Comfort Temp Heating and Cooling today for your free estimate. Okay, welcome back to That's the Reality of It, and I have a very special guest with me. Her name is Dale Kajer, and she's the founder of Dale Kajer Hats Off Breast Cancer Foundation. Welcome, Dale. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we want to get into some of the aspects of what you do with the foundation, the services. Now, I know you have moral support, financial support, but give me some details of what your foundation does. Well, my foundation provides moral support and household services, transportation, treatment, financial support to women who are diagnosed with breast cancer. Now, when you say household support, what does that mean? Um, Rent, money towards their rent, uh, mortgage, whatever, get utilities. Now, your foundation does all that for the breast cancer uh, um, patients? Yes, sir. Wow. Yes. That's different. What it is is we don't do all of it. Mm-hmm. They deem what they deem important. Mm-hmm. And they and then we have a screening process. Okay. So we just they determine what's more important that they need assistance with. Okay. So we do one of those items. Now how can you afford to, to do that? I mean I've never heard of a foundation that actually does personalized service. I mean, some of the other foundations, they help with the research and things like that. Mm -hmm. But you actually do personalized service for these uh, patients. So is that, is that, uh, I'm sure you need volunteers and and monies for this, right? Yes, sir. Let me just give you a little uh, background. Okay. I was diagnosed in 1994. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I had a sister who was diagnosed. And we were stair steps. I was 32 34, 33 and 34. She was diagnosed. Mm-hmm. And so my sister, who went through breast cancer, a whole year of treatment, the doctors didn't check her lymph nodes. Mm. So one year later, she died. Wow. Again, I was younger than her. Mm-hmm. So I went to the doctors to try to get uh, start my mammogram procedures. They told me, no, go back, not come back, and not until you're 40. Oh, so. so I was too young to begin my mammogram process, but I was persistent. Mm-hmm. And I continued to go to the doctors to talk about, I mean, to, to begin my mammogram process. Four years later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Could they have caught it if they had done it earlier? Not necessarily, because I had a mammogram was one year in, a, in July, and mm-hmm. then by April, that it didn't show up on the mammogram, but then it metastasized that quickly. Mm. My husband found that lump during intimacy. Okay. And so I followed up with another appointment okay. with the doctor. So that's how we determined. So that I did have breast cancer. And it was the size of a lemon, 10 centimeters. Wow. Over a six, six to eight month period. Gracious. So what happened by uh, when my diagnosis, and I went out to help other women mm-hmm. with their ordeal with breast cancer. So in doing that, I found they had so many needs, mm-hmm. financial needs. So I started helping them with my own money. Your own financial, own, personal money. My own personal money. Praise the Lord. And I did that a period of about five or six years before mm. the foundation was actually formed. So in, in doing that, that's how this foundation evolved. Wow. From the diagnosis of my sister, then myself, and the support that I provided to other women. And that support that you provide to other women yes. is not just for um, moral support, spiritual support, and, and, and from your guests, your uh, people that you've helped that we've talked to, mm-hmm. they said you prayed with them, you went to all the um, uh, surgeries with them. I mean, you was like hands-on in every step. Absolutely. But then with the financial backing where you give money for the rent and for um, all these other essential needs... We need to help her get some money because you cannot keep going in your pocket with this. How can they? How can they help you? Give me. Tell me about some of these items here. Well, some when a woman is first diagnosed, mm-hmm. and and uh, generally, if it's a mastectomy mm-hmm. or drains are put in or whatever their procedure is, mm-hmm. it's very tender. Okay. So we provide pillows 
This is the first stage. Mm -hmm. We provide pillows for comfort under the arm, okay. between the arm and the breast. They don't have to pay for anything. The, no, they don't have to pay for any of this. Okay. And then if they decide to, if a breast is removed and they decide that they do not want reconstruction, mm -hmm. then they can get a prosthetic. Okay. So this is in substitute of multiple surgeries. Okay. So and this, this is, is inserted in the bra. Okay, in the bra. In is, the bra. Okay. And so that brings comfort and symmetry with the back as okay. well. Okay. So they can get uh, prosthetics. Mm -hmm. And then if, if they have to get chemo and they lose their hair, then we have wigs. Now, all the, now what are these here? Uh, this is if, for instance, if the lymph nodes are removed, there's a possibility a woman could get lymphedema, which okay. means the fluid doesn't flow as it should from the breast mm -hmm. to the arm throughout this particular, whatever area the breast is. Mm -hmm. So in my case, after 20 years, I developed lymphedema because there, I exceeded a weight limit. So you've been 20 years free? 20 years. Free of cancer? Free of cancer. And, well, I was 20 years and I was diagnosed seven years ago, so it was in between. Back and forth, but yeah. 20 years as far as me being able to avoid um, lymphedema. So t after 20 years, I got lymphedema. So these are sleeves, compression sleeves, okay. that are used to help um, suppress the fluid that builds up in the arm. All right, now, let me, let me what's, what is this here? Is this, uh, they can purchase this? Yes. Okay, take a look at this. You can purchase this. T-shirts. T-shirts, Whenever hats. we go out, yeah, T-shirts and hats. Whenever we go out, we try to form unity. Okay. And then... So that we can bring recognition to the organization as right. well. So because a lot of the companies are not donating to you guys because of the other larger corporations. Exactly. And the larger corporations are, are good because they have research, but they're not doing personalized right. help that you guys are doing. That's so right. how can they reach you to give you some money? We need to give her some money. How can they reach you? Tell them how they can reach you. They can reach me on the website, hats off to Dale, hats off to Dale dot org. Mm hmm have a donate page. Okay. Or they can send any donations contribution through the mail. Okay. P.O. Box 265, okay. Severna Park, Maryland, okay. 21146. And they're all tax deductible donations. Okay. We are 501C3. Okay. So they're all tax deductible. And um, I do have a phone number. And the numbers are 443-229-6031. That's 443-229. 229-6031 and 410-544-1372. And do you have a website? Yes, the website is www.hatsoff number 2 dale d a l e .org. Okay, so make sure you contact those numbers or that website and bring some money to this organization cuz they really can use it. So, if it's all good, it's all God, so be blessed. Put God first. Because through Him, all things are possible. See you next week. So long. Be, be back to all, folks. All the things that's going on all around you. That's the reality of it. Where you get the truth, the truth. where you get the real. Yeah, you can see all the things that's going on all around you. That's the reality of it, where you get the truth, the truth where you get the real, real. Yeah, you can see all the things that's going on all around you, and we tell it like it is.